We're back, and we've got another guest that is a very lovely lady, and she is an artist. So that's going to be fun to interview Maureen Duffy. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Maureen. Glad Hi. to have you here. So good to be here. Yeah, we have a lot of fun here, so hope that you enjoy doing it. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, some of the things I usually start with is, what was your first thing that you wanted to be when you were a little girl? I always wanted to be an artist. Really? Yes. Um, I had a couple of experiences when I was young. One, I think I was about eight, mm -hmm. and I went on a field trip to a museum. I lived in Ohio. Oh. And that day was the first day that I really saw art, you know, and... I kept walking way too close to the paintings, and I, and I, I was being told to back away. And, and I still do that when I go to museums. I have people <laughs> telling me, back away. Um, but that was the first time that I appreciated it, where I was able to really look at it, and I knew there was something in me that was going to do. And then just from there, I proceeded to um, start drawing a lot. and. Uh -huh. I was all over the place. I wanted to be an architect. I used to draw house plans when I was in the fifth grade, and I'd take them for show and tell. And, um, and in high school, in junior high and high school, I did a lot of art, and I, I did go to college briefly and studied. Um, but then I had a family, oh. and I, st I was always still creative. I'd make costumes, or I'd decorate my house, or you know things like that. And um, really, just a couple of years ago, I... I started, I had a lot of changes in my life, and I just started creating art like a mad woman. Wow. And I had some great support from local artists, so I was kind of brought into the fold, and people let me show at their venues. And wow. without, and, and it's, and I'm a little embarrassed about <laughs> some of my first shows, you know, my, my art's improved a lot. I've taken lessons from a few local artists and, mm -hmm. and just really dedicated myself to it. That is fantastic. Uh, I want to ask you, what uh, type of things do you want to paint? Um, I do all sorts of things. I'm sort of all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. I do some commissions because then I can pay my bills with, you know, my work. Ooh, that's good. So I've done portraits. I've done pet portraits. I just finished painting this man's, um, he has this beautiful home in Salinas. He wanted a painting of it for his wife. Wow. That was a challenge because it was very technical, but it was good for me oh. because my the work I do for myself is more loose and it's mm -hmm. more emotional and um, not cartoonish, but kind of surreal. So, you know, I can do the technical stuff and it's so important to know how to. Oh, yes. And then you can kind of break the rules a little oh. bit better. So what uh, mediums you, you use? Um, primarily acrylic. Uh -huh. Although I've noticed that my style works a lot better with oils, huh. but I'm still a little bit afraid of them. Um, I'm working on it, though. I'm doing some paintings now where I start with acrylic and I do oil over that. That's what my husband does. Yeah, yeah. and so you can get the base down um, mm -hmm. and not feel intimidated, but oils aren't that difficult. It's just you have to learn to use them. Well, you know... I used to do oils, I, and I have, right now I have about six paintings that are just started. I found that when I was waiting for it to dry, I'd forget about it. Right. And just store it. But I found, <laughs> just recently I found out uh, something that you can put in the paint that makes it dry real fast, and it's dry the next day. And I'm really wanting to get, you know, I just started back in. I did an oil for Sorensen's Art Hop tonight. Oh, the, I can't go tonight, but I'll, I'll go check it out for <laughs> but, sure. But uh, I, I really love oil painting again, and I, I, I'm glad that I got back into it because I've been primarily always doing uh, um, Pastels. I love those too. And china paints. Have you ever ever worked? In no. Oh, but that pastels. Is so I love. I do too. I love yeah. pastels. Some of my better work is with pastels. So, I think. So you brought some. Did you bring some to, to show today? Um, I I did, and oh. um, I have a piece at the one that I think is being shown right now, is at um, Arte Americas. Um, for the Dia de los Muertos show. Oh, beautiful. And that's wow. a pretty large piece. 
I'm really proud of it. And oh. Frank D has been great and supportive of me. Um, I can't say enough good things about that man. Wow. But um, that one oh. is the house that I did as a commission. I also did a pet portrait for him, for that same gentleman, that oh. I didn't bring any of those, but um, of his, his puppy. I'm primarily an animal. Yeah. I do people portraits too, but mo yeah. mainly animals. Um, this is a recent one I just ooh, finished. Ooh. Of, it's supposed to be Joni Mitchell. I almost captured it. <laughs> Not perfect. I can't believe it. You just recent started this. Well, you know, I've, I've always been able to draw really well. Uh-huh. And just to incorporate it into painting. And I, I've learned a lot. You know, I've, I've learned a lot. So I know how to correct my mistakes and know how not to make them, which can be very time consuming. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing to do. Yeah. But that, uh, I love the the whole the way everything was put together, uh, people and other things around it. That's something I can't do at all. Well, I'm, I'm really inspired by, well, one thing that I, that I have to say is when I was growing up, I was really not familiar with a lot of female artists. You really didn't learn about them. <laughs> and, yeah. and so... I've done a lot of reading about them, and there's one in particular, her name is Lenora Carrington, and she was born in England, and uh -huh. my mother was born in England, so I am you know, oh. have a little bit of a love for that. Yeah. But she moved to Mexico, and she spent her whole adult life there, and she is an amazing surrealist artist, and her whole attitude I could relate to, where she's not so much about analyzing work. Uh -huh. She's like, that's what I painted. <laughs> feel what you want to feel about it. You yeah. know, I can tell you what I felt when I did it, but it's not as important as what the viewer sees. Yeah, well, that's, that's yeah. Uh, really good thinking. Really good thinking. Yeah, so I'm inspired by her a lot, and um, it's, it's really important for me to do this in my life. This is kind of what I was put here oh, for. Yes, of course. Yeah. It, it comes. I don't know why. As children, they know who you are and you know what you want to be and it was, you're here to do that. And then somehow you get pulled away from it, you know. Well, you feel like you need medical insurance so you get a job, <laughs> you know, and that has those types of things. And it's not as easy when you're an artist to have that type of thing. And, and so you worry less, but then you're never quite satisfied until you start doing what you should be doing. Well, I'm glad that you are doing what you're supposed to do. Thank and are you. you uh, where, are you, where are you showing tonight? Um, tonight I'll be at Tower District Records. Mm -hmm. um, Brad Polson curates the shows there. And there's always, well, tonight there's three artists, and I need to read them. So myself and um, Bobby and James Martin, amazing work. And there's also some vendors, um, Brandy Swisher, who makes gorgeous jewelry that I buy way too much of, Ooh. and uh, <laughs> Sasha Lancia, who makes really neat um, sachets and kind of whimsical items, mm -hmm. as well as um, Pedro Urena. He does a lot of work that really promotes Fresno. And I have some of his stuff. I always try and buy local artists. Uh -huh. um, and, and there's also live music. So Train Spotters and James Wilkinson. Oh. So I think it's going to be a blast. I made blueberry tarts. So if you want to come <laughs> by, they're delicious. And that's the 5 to 8 there, too? 5 to 8. 5 to 8. Yeah. And, uh, try to go to art hubs because you see such wonderful art, uh, uh, art and you meet people. And, and, of course, a lot of people just go to eat. And that's all right, too. But... It really yeah. supports your artists by going to the art art's house. more important than the food. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And don't not gain as much weight either. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> okay, no, honey, thank, thank you, you so, so much so for much. coming in. And when you've got a show any place, come on back in. I will. I do have some shows coming up. Okay, so, good. Yeah. Well, we'll see you then. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. We'll be right back.